Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Compline. Compline tonight will be taken from the prayer book, and we'll begin on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm number four, on page 128. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down at peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Continuing on page 131 with Psalm 134. Behold, now bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. I'm going to offer a reading tonight from this, which is the rule of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Tonight's Compline service uh, is the last Compline service we'll have before Lent begins. Next week was Ash Wednesday, and we'll have an Ash Wednesday service um, for, for next Wednesday night. Um, but then the Lenten program that we'll offer Wednesday nights during Lent um, that will include Compline will be taken in part from something that's offered by the Society of St. John the Evangelist. So I thought I'd take something from their book um, to read for you tonight. And this is from their rule of, uh, their rule of life, and it's uh, the section that has to do with worship. Human beings were created to bless and adore their creator, and in the offering of worship, to experience their highest joy and their deepest communion with one another. In our fallenness, we continually turn in upon ourselves to seek fulfillment without self-offering. We squander on lesser things the love which is due to the source of all being. But the Father never ceases from seeking true worshipers to worship him in spirit and truth. God sent the Son into the world to heal and raise us up so that empowered by the Spirit, we could surrender our whole selves in adoration and be reunited to the love of God. God draws us into our society so that our calling to be true worshipers can reach fulfillment in the offering of the continual sacrifice of praise. 
In this life of worship together, we are transformed in body, soul, and spirit. We offer our worship in the spirit as a community of the church on behalf of the entire world. Our life is ordered so that we can sustain the full expression of the church's worship in the constant offering of the daily office and the Eucharist. We bear witness to the riches of the liturgy and its power to permeate life with the remembrance of God. Our liturgical life is in itself a vital ministry. We lift up the church and world in prayer and strengthen those whom we encourage to take full part in our worship. We also influence the renewal of the church's worship by our example and the value we place on beauty in music, dignity in ceremony, and depth in the word. If we become the true worshipers whom the Father seeks, no part of our life is untouched by our worship. It makes our experience of time itself sacred. The offices express the inmost meaning of the times of each day from the dawn to nightfall. The weeks are sanctified, beginning with the commemoration of the resurrection on the first day. The liturgical cycle of the year redeems the passage of time by making the months and seasons the means of appropriating again the creating and healing acts of God, reaching its climax in our renewed experience in the life-giving cross and resurrection Holy Week, Easter, and Pentecost. Our worship will bind us in community with one another and with those for whom we intercede in the liturgy. It unites us with our brothers who have gone before us and to the entire communion of saints. In worship, we are not bound to our own time and place. The commemoration of the saints links us with all the ages and every place where God has been glorified. It reveals to us the great cloud of witnesses in the heavens, encouraging us on our straight course to God. Worship sanctifies work, continually interrupting it so that we can offer it to God in thanksgiving. Worship, like play, is free from the need to produce tangible gains, but it is work. It takes skill to craft and carry out the work of God, as monastic tradition calls it. Worship makes costly demands on our time and our energies. It calls us from the inertia of self-centeredness. When we come to worship in dryness and fatigue, we learn to make the offering of sheer faith and allow ourselves to be borne along by the devotion of our brothers. And that's the section in the rule of the Society of St. John the Evangelist about worship. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite your own prayers this evening, either silently or aloud, and I invite your prayers throughout the evening and throughout the rest of the week. I pray in thanksgiving for St. Thomas's Church and the St. Thomas family. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us. Amen. <laughs>